New at 5, politics versus a family's pursuit for answers. CBS 46 first told you about the Fulton County Day Camp where a young child drowned last month. We also told you that the state did not know that camp even existed until the drowning. But now the family attorney is sharing new details on whether the camp was even legal, not only by state standards, but local as well. CBS 46's Brittany Miller has been covering the story since the beginning and now has the latest update. In a sit-down interview, Hosh family attorney El Chris Stewart reveals new information about the day camp where five-year-old Benjamin Hosh drowned. He tells me the camp can't be traced because it has no paper trail. Cochrane Mill Nature Center summer camp does not even have a business license to operate in Chattahoochee Hills. When I took those claims to the city manager, he said the day camp doesn't need a business license because it's run by the Cochrane Mill Nature Center, a not-for-profit organization. This summer camp was for profit. This place charged $120 a week per kid. That is not non-profit. Stewart says the new discovery means dragging the city into the Hosh family's lawsuit. Namely, city officials, he says, should have known the camp needed a business license. If you take a look at the Nature Center's board of directors, you'll see Rick Lindsay, the city attorney, and Tom Reed, the mayor. They should have made sure that this summer camp had a business license to operate because then they have to be regulated, they have to be watched over. But when I asked, the city manager disagreed, saying the camp is part of the Nature Center. He also says at last check, the mayor is no longer on the board. They've been operating illegally for 23 years. Stewart says he'll file the lawsuit when the criminal investigation is over. Brittany Miller, CBS 46 News.